Hey there, Serena. Hi, how are you guys going? Amazing. Awesome. <laughs> Stefania, let's go straight to the reviews. Reviews are saying um, Sweet Tooth is a masterpiece, the show of the summer. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel so excited. I, I know that we all knew we were making something special, but you just never know how things are, you know, going to play out and you don't know how it's going to be edited. You don't know also if people are, are going to see it because, you know, sometimes you can have a good show and just people don't watch it. And so to have such a special show to all of us, I know all of us feel really passionate and strong about it to get that kind of reaction is unbelievable. And so grateful. We're feeling so mm-hmm. grateful to every, I mean, the fans, like the people that are watching it. I love the fact that he's really bringing the world together in a different kind of way. But also, the, it, you know, like Stefania says, sometimes people don't watch something. You can be a part of a great show or sometimes you are part of a show and then it comes out and then the critics don't like it. And then all of a yeah. sudden it takes a different tone. This show it's just it's just the perfect time in the world for it. I think everybody was willing to be have to welcome it with open arms, and I still get chills every time I somebody tells me, "Oh, read this," because my husband is the one that kind of reads the the reviews. I, I it freaks me out. It like gives me anxiety to like get into all that. So he sends me like little you know excerpts of like people you know journalists that things that they've written about it. I mean, to be called a master masterpiece, I think that one really made me like. <laughs> I, 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 I got it right away. I was like, what? This is our show, guys. Well, yeah. Especially for you, Johnny, because you have said that this role, the role of Amy, really spoke to you. You'd never, ever come across a role like this before. And you have an impressive CV. So <laughs> what was it about this one? You know, it's also where I was at the, at the, the time that he came in. Like I had been taking some time off. I had been working my whole life, you know, just on and off. And, you know, I come from a very humble background. So it, it, before I was even acting, I was just been working my whole life. So then to have a moment where I was like, you know, I am going to take some time off. I have seven year old, you know, twins and I want to spend some time with them. And then COVID happens. And then we, you know, the, for me, I saw it as like, this is an opportunity to spend more time with my kids. Like I, I saw it in a completely different way than a lot of other people did and I was in that in that zone so when I got the script and I spoke to the creators and they told me where they wanted to go with the character I was like oh my god I feel like this is my life right now like I I didn't want to I wanted to take some time off and really look inward like who am I really and you know as an actor you get into this zone of like working all the time and picking one role and having to be in interviews and then you lose yourself so it, I, I realized how important yeah. it was to just stop, just take a moment and breathe life in and what does what really matters. And I felt like I had something to say. And and I believe that people were going to be ready to listen to it because it was very optimistic and very hopeful way to look at the world. And for Amy Eden, that's exactly what the role was. You know, she was miserable in her mundane life and then this apocalypse and this big crumble happens and then all of a sudden she walks aside and, and realizes that nature has taken over the world and now she she meets this young little girl that really gives her her purpose in life and I really connected to with that message uh, and I wanted to be a part of telling that story. Stefania someone who's connected with you is Robert Downey Jr. He has said about you this girl is a darn national treasure I'm telling you, this girl is a star. When someone like Robert Downey Jr. says that about you, yeah, your face says it all. (laughs) I've never heard that. I don't know where you got that comment, but I've never heard that. And wow, I feel honored. I'm I'm quite in shock. (laughs) Well... (laughs) Well deserved, though. She is brilliant. She's brilliant in this role, but she really is an amazing woman. And I'm just so honored to be here with you, Stefania. Well, no, Dania, I'm so honored to be with you. You've helped me so much, like, and inspired me. And also hearing you talk about your character, too. It's a, it is amazing and how, how it all works out, the timing of things. But you are that person of that grounded very centered 
person that can see things in the bigger perspective. And I know like even in the short time that we got to be together, you made such a huge impact on me. And yeah, also doing these interviews is so We're cool. family so, for life, by the way. This is Oh, the I know. <laughs> And this is what came from this this series as well. I love that it shows you that family isn't necessarily blood. Your chosen family is just as important as your blood family. And Stefania, this is just the beginning for you, picking up family all over the place. How does that feel? It feels really nice. You know, I, to be honest, during Sweet Tooth, the filming, I really struggled with my mental health because, you know, in the beginning with the pandemic happening, we couldn't get together. There wasn't as many like, you know, things happening. And, and well, for my character too, I didn't get to be with everyone until the very end. So, um, but by the end we had this luncheon and there was, all, all of us came together and wow, I felt so moved by how strongly we connected in such a short amount of time. And even after we finish filming this, we have this group chat together. And also Donnie and I have been, you know, yeah. calling each other and messaging. And it's just a really comforting feeling. And it's it's a real true love. I, I feel very held. And yeah, it makes me really, um, makes me feel grounded and excited. And you're you know, so, you're so amazing. You really are. And you know <laughs> what? It takes a very strong person to even admit their vulnerabilities and you do it so beautiful and seamless within your life and you do it as bare and and just uh, it's really it's my honor to be here with you oh thank you Dalia. <laughs> oh ladies your energy is amazing I don't want to leave this room but I have to so I'm just going to say uh, thank you for your energy and for sharing that with us thank you thank you